<laughs> How's the bathroom going? <laughs> it's good. It's turtle time. I do some mosaic all day. This is where I've been. Hello. But look, it's it's I think I'm gonna get it done tomorrow. It like, looks amazing. Hang cement on the bathroom. We did that. Sheer water inlet housing. We got that done. Hang the water tanks. Yeah! Finally got that one. Finally! Harvest apples and grapes. Yeah, we did a little bit of that. Yeah, he's gonna do a different one today. Plums, water, tank. Yeah, he's gonna do a different one today. I'm gonna break down the system right now and give you an idea for what I'm thinking and how this is gonna work. This is the pipe that comes out of the toilet. Obviously, it's not gonna be this long. It's a four inch pipe. This is the collar that I wanna use on the bottom of the toilet. As you can see, it fits four inches as well. Well, it fits on there. Just trust me. Four inch by three inch. This is a reducer. And what it does is it takes those four inch pipes and allows you to plumb in using this stuff, which is called three inch pipe. You can get at the hardware store pieces of three inch pipe that you can put together just like this and then use ABS glues. Permanent, not so permanent. So I'm gonna come straight out of the toilet with this guy. So that means I need to cut that four inch tube to size so that it comes out from the toilet and into this guy. This is the toilet flange we're gonna use. This connects to that two inch pipe. It also has the little pieces that you need to get a toilet to go on properly. The toilet flange goes on like that. And then it holds that nice and sturdy. So I made this five and a half, but I measured it incorrectly. What I should have done was just look up here and measure the depth of this hole. That's from the top of the floor in the bathroom to the bottom of the steel, which is two and a half inches. You'll remember I measured this and the depth of this was two inches. And so basically I want the depth of the floor plus two inches. And that's gonna get me the perfect sized one. Since the depth of the floor is two and a half inches, and then I want an extra two inches after that. Well, that means I want four and a half inches, but I cut this piece at five and a half inches. And so that's just one inch off. It might be smart just to leave myself a little bit of room. So here we go. This toilet flange is uh, something we bought from Home Depot. This toilet we ordered online, so I need to make sure all these pieces work together. This is the hardware for the uh, toilet, and the way this works is you screw this guy down into the floor where you mount the toilet, and then you slide these into here, turn them, and then slide them around. And then this provides you a way to anchor to the toilet. Okay, so these nuts barely grow, go up. So basically, the base of the toilet is basically fl flush with the top of the toilet flange right now. So that tells me that we want our floor to be below this point. Here's the problem. That is why our toilet's going down. We're gonna have tile on top of here and on top of that, and that tile needs to be the same height as the top of the flange. I'd rather the flange was a little above where our tile's going to be. That way the toilet sits evenly on the flange. Yeah, me too. Get back to tiling. <laughs> Here's the size tile we'll be using for the floor. As you can see, it's a little more than a quarter thick. The toilet flange is the perfect size. All we have to do is uh, shove it down that hole and then drill some screws 
into it to make it so it stays there forever. And then the tile will just go near it or around it, and then we'll just silicone the bottom of the toilet. At least I think that's the strategy. I've never done this before. Today's V's birthday, so I'm just gonna bring her a bunch of different little gifts that I got her. It's your birthday. Oh my god, it's a paper bag? Here, this is, this is for you. You got me a present. <laughs> oh, yum! <laughs> Whoa, this is so rich, babe. I think it's time to go. You're getting shaved, rid of it? I shaved this off. And I just want to keep going. And that right now, my the favorite parts of my face are here and here. Because they don't look like here and here, so. Oh, Bye bye, mustache and goatee. Today's gonna be another awesome day on the bus. We're doing my favorite thing. Plumbing. Man, I love plumbing. Ugh. I mean, so cool. Ugh. Can't wait to plumb. Ugh. All right, here we go. Here we have a collection of ABS fittings. I think I'm gonna start with the gray water. Here we have the pipe we put in yesterday. That comes from the sink. The sink comes from right here. I wanna put a Y in right there, and then I'm gonna run a pipe down the length of this. I don't know if you can see, but right there is the shower drain. That's the top of the shower drain P-trap. A P-trap is just a pipe that goes down so that there's a little bit of water in here that creates a seal. Like air doesn't go through water. I have a pipe, goes right to there. There we do a Y. And then I'm gonna do 90, 90 into the gray water tank. And then the black water tank is gonna be like, and then go down here, wrap around and go into the tank here. All plans change, I find, as soon as you actually start doing work. So, here we go. <laughs> yeah, my friend showed up. Hey. John's back in the movies! Woohoo! Thank you to whoever in the comments, when you're doing plumbing, he said to wipe away the excess cement because it uses heat to create the bond between the two PVC pipes, essentially melting them together, and that it's better if you wipe the stuff down. And so now, I've wiped it off, and I hope that... Thank you for the comment. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah. I'm very nervous about, well I'm gonna use one of these hole saws to go into the tanks. I gotta, first off I gotta take the, uh, the chuck, the thing out of here, and then put it into here, and then I'm gonna cut through a piece of this wood to see if this piece screws into the wood well. If it does, then I figure this is gonna work. Here we go.
Oh, it's too tight. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's too tight, huh? So maybe two and a quarter. Okay, so you do have a whole set of them. Although one thing I Oh, that's I good. That's the right bit. Yeah. Hey V, we haven't heard from you very much. Could you tell me how you're doing your mosaic? Break the tiles. I lather the um, thin set. I put like a nice thick layer on the tile and then well, first of all, I plan it out. So I plan out as many pieces as you can see. This is all planned out to go all along here and here and here. Uh -huh. And so I plan them out. So then I can use thin set. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> oh, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah. So then I lather the thin set on each of the tiles and I whack them on. And the thin set dries up really quickly. And I don't know if it's just because it's hot or it's just what it does. But yeah, so then I just try and put on as many tiles so I don't waste any thin set. And that's it! So I try and plan it out first, and then I stick them all on, and then I do it all again. Over and over and over again. Over and over and over again. Man, this plumbing thing is really dragging on. It's true. Day two. For me. For me. It's more than day two for me. Sorry. It's hot. It's almost there, man. Looks like it goes uphill. Oh, really? How about there? Yeah, it looks better. That's downhill the whole way? It looks like there might be a slight up right here, but I mean, it's gonna be coming down, but that's downhill for sure. Maybe like that? Right, right in there, -ish. yeah. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good right there. I'm by myself, okay? Okay, this is the system that we think is going to be the black water pipe. It's got... Yeah, that looks downhill. It all looks downhill. That's the way you want your poop rolling. Yeah. It's downhill. We got a rubber. This one goes from four inch to three inch. From the toilet flange, fourth inch to three inch. Three inch pipe, three inch 90, three inch pipe, three inch 45. There's a tiny little three inch pipe in there. We've got the 45. And then we've got the rubber connector. We can unconnect rubber rubber to make the system so that it can go straight into a sewer pipe and then we've got an inch pipe and then a 90 with an inch pipe that goes into the tank. So because it's all put together all we have to do now is glue it. This is all put together without glue and now it's the time to make it permanent. What do you think Johnny? Glue it. Glue it up. Thanks, Johnny, for coming to do bus labor. That's exactly what you wanted to do today, right? Yeah, get dirty. Yeah. All right. Get dirty. I'm Bye. leaving. Bye. Love ya. Hey, man. Thanks for coming out. Bye, sweaty people. So it's been 14 days. 14 days. Whoa. 
that I've been plugging away at the bathroom walls. But today is a great day because I finished mosaicing the larger tiles on all of the bathroom walls. Very, very exciting. Check it out. Turtle! Pretty cool. So now, the fun part. I get to figure out how to attach the tiny, let me, let me just show you. So these beautiful, stunning little iridescent and rainbow glass tiles, I got these off Etsy Studio. I need to figure out how to add these into the mix. So I've left gaps for them. The problem is, this little tile is about a third of the height as the other tiles. So that is my next mission, how to add these into the mix, but make sure that they're flush with these other ginormous tiles. Then I'll finish all of the walls and then it will be time to ground. So excited. Yeah, wish me luck. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I want you, I want you. <laughs> and now the toilet is plumbed. Well, it's plumbed to the tanks. I still got it. Still go. Now the sink is plumbed to the shower drain. All I need to do now is do the elbow that goes from the sink and shower drain U-turn into the gray water tank. I'm putting two rubber guys in, this one and this one, so I can remove this and then I can plumb the toilet and the gray water together and have that both go to the septic system if we didn't want to run on tanks for long-term park situations. I had to change this to a three inch one. So now you can see I can unscrew this and unscrew this and plumb the gray water. So now I'm just gonna glue this, screw these down, and we'll be plumbed into the tanks at that point. Yeah, now I just let that dry, and then we'll be set. We'll be plumbed into the tanks. I still need to take care of the effluent, meaning the way to dump them, in which I'll install everything to this guy. And um, install the vents for the tanks, which will just be uh, inch and a half pipes going out the back and then up to the roof. I've got this piece of a uh, three inch pipe and a 90. I've drilled my hole through. The th piece of three inch pipe fits in here like that. I think I'll be able to glue it and then silicon it and it'll be tight. And then I'm gonna throw this guy up here. This is my split valve to jump the black and gray. This is a two inch joiner. That can go on this, and then the two inch pipe goes on that, right there. So now I just need to cut this so that it comes over. This guy is going to plug into the three inch pipe here, using a pipe, and I need a three inch joiner. And then this guy, I'm gonna put a 90 here, another 90 here, and then a 90 going up and into the tank. Of course, I don't have all the pieces that I need to complete this today. But I'm just going to cut everything and get it so that all I need to do is go to the store and grab whatever specific part I need. Now 
now that I've got a lot of the plumbing done, one of the things I really want to do is be able to test all these systems. Um, I'm ran out of pieces that I need, so I can't do anything more underneath until I get my new pieces, until I get the pieces I need. But instead, I think I'm going to take this here hole saw and drill a hole in the countertop so that I can install this um, faucet. Faucet time! <laughs> to measure this, I just took the width of the entire sink which is 17 inches, I cut that in half, which makes it eight and a half. So I measured from here, and I used this right square to get eight and a half. So now I've got this line, and this is going to be where I want the center of my hole to be. Drill the hole with this, I thread the bottom of the faucet through that hole, and then we use this to tighten it up. Should it be like so it hangs right here? Yeah, and then that, the, the head is directly in the middle, in the center right of the mm. sink. Could you draw a little pencil line? Just as a crosshair on that line right there. Like here? Yep. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut this hole. I'm kinda nervous yeah. about cutting the hole. Why? Just cause it's like I worked so hard on this countertop and now I'm gonna draw a hole in it. It's so pretty. It'll be fun. It'll be great. Do it, babe, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the last thing in the countertop too, right? Uh. The mahogany smells so good after working with ABS pipe glue all day. What you love at? <laughs> Okay, another day wrapped up on the bus. My faucet, I found out that we need to put that pl base plate in. So tomorrow I'll take the faucet apart and put it back together. And then uh, we'll pick up some extra PV ABS parts. Um, okay, hardware start, I need one, two, I need two 90 degree, inch and a half, no, two 90 degree, half inch, two, two inch, 90 degree elbows. Now everything I need to finish the tank down. Are you sure? No. Sure about that? No, no. Oh dear. Never sure. And I need, some ready set for the floor in the shower. But I'm hoping to finish the walls tomorrow. That is the plan. If you do that before I put those two elbows on, glue them together and then do the thing, then you will end with that. Well, yeah, and then you have to finish the faucet thing and the whole plumbing system. What about the propane? I think I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win the bet. No way. Yeah. It's on, like Donkey Kong. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the... <laughs> Special thanks to our dear friend Johnny B for coming up again and he was actually the... Oh yeah, thank you John. He was the second returning special guest. Johnny, you rock. He did not want to work, I'm sure of it, but he did. He would have much rather sit on a hammock reading a book on Labor Day. But he was here, working on the birth. Oh, and Aline, she has been helping me with the mosaic um, assisting and keeping me company. I love you, Aline, you rock. And that is all, goodbye. Love you, good night, bye.